very good evening to you. My name is Abdul Razak Ali and this is an English edition of Dalsan TV. We have a lot lined up for you, but first, let's have a look at some of the stories that we have prepared for you. U.S. airstrike kills three Al-Shabaab militants. Prime Minister Barre engages federal member state ministers to implement agreements. President Mahmoud hails Danab forces' performance in U.S.-led military exercise. Welcome back. Now, the United States Africa Command, that is AFRICOM, has confirmed that it has killed three Al-Shabaab militants in an airstrike that was carried out by its forces. The strike took place in the Ogunji, located approximately 71 kilometers northwest, southwest of the Somali capital, Mogadishu. The U.S. Africa Command, AFRICOM, announced on Sunday that three Al-Shabaab militants were killed in a targeted airstrike carried out by U.S. forces. took place in the Ugunji area, located approximately 71 kilometers southwest of the Somali capital, Mogadishu. According to AFRICOM, the initial post-strike assessment indicates that the operation resulted in the killing of three Al-Shabaab militants, with no reported harm to civilians. The precision strike demonstrates the ongoing commitment of the United States to combating the presence of Al-Shabaab and maintaining the security and stability of Somalia. This targeted strike serves as a clear message to the group that their activities will, no, will not go unchallenged. Al-Shabaab, a militant group, has been a persistent threat to the security and stability of Somalia. The group emerged in the early 2000s and has since waged a violent insurgency aiming to overthrow the federal government and establish a strict interpretation of Islamic law and security forces causing significant loss of life and destabilizing the region. Over the years, the Somali government, supported by the international partners, over the years, the Somali government, supported by the international partners, made concerted efforts to counter the influence of Al-Shabaab. The U.S. has been a key ally in this endeavor, providing crucial military assistance and intelligence support to Somali forces. AFRICOM has conducted a series of targeted airstrikes against Al-Shabaab leaders and operatives, disrupting their operations and degrading their capabilities. The successful elimination of three Al-Shabaab militants in the recent airstrike highlights the effectiveness of these operations in neutralizing threats posed by the group. By specifically targeting senior leaders and key operatives, the U.S. aims to dismantle Al-Shabaab's command structure and hinder its ability to carry out attacks. While the elimination of these militants is a significant achievement, the fight against Al-Shabaab remains an ongoing challenge. The group continues to exploit security gaps utilize guerrilla tactics and recruit new members. The Prime Minister of the Federal Government of Somalia, Hamza Abdibarre, presided over a meeting with the ministers of the federal member states following the successful conclusion of the forum that was held in the capital, Mogadishu. Our reporter has more on this. Prime Minister Hamza Abdibarre presided over a meeting with the ministers of interior affairs from the federal member states following a conclusion of their consultation forum held in Mogadishu. Chaired by the Federal Minister of Foreign Affairs, Ahmed Fiti, the consultation forum on the national system of local governments witnessed the participation of ministers of the interior, general directors from both the federal government and federal member states, representatives from the interim administration of SSA Katumo and Benadi region and other experts. During the forum, Federal and regional ministers engaged in a constructive discussion and reached crucial agreements aimed at strengthening local governance across the nation. Agreements included the establishment of a dedicated fund to support the development of local governments nationwide, the adoption of one-person, one-vote election model for the national process of local governments, and the standardization of laws governing local governments. In their meeting with the Prime Minister, Mr. Barre emphasizes the importance of implementing the provisions agreed upon during three-day forum. He urged the ministers from the regional states to swiftly enact the agreed-upon measures, underscoring the government's commitment to executing those decisions. The establishment of a fund for the development of local government holds 
significant promise for fostering sustainable growth and addressing unique needs of communities across the country. The initiative reflects the government's dedication to promoting equitable and inclusive development at the grassroots level. The model is expected to empower communities by giving them a direct role in selecting their local leaders. Mr. Hamza Abdibare's engagement with the federal member states ministers highlights the government's commitment to collaborative governance and implementation of agreed upon measures. The President of Somalia, Dr. Hassan Sheikh Mohamud, accompanied by his Defense Minister, Abdul Qadir Mohamed Noor, and the Chief of the National Army, hosted a dinner to honor the officers of the Somalia National Army, Dana Brigade, who recently participated in the U.S. led military exercise known as Justified Accord in Kenya. During the event, Mr. Mohamud presided the praised the exceptional performance of the Somali soldiers, emphasizing that their readiness, courage, and effectiveness were highly regarded by both U.S. trainers and the Kenyan officials. President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud, accompanied by Defense Minister Abdi Kedana and the Chief of the National Army, hosted a dinner to honor the officers of the Somalia National Army, SNA, Dana Brigade, who recently participated in the U.S.-led military exercise known as Justified Accord in Kenya, emphasizing that their readiness, courage, and effectiveness were highly regarded by both U.S. trainers and Kenyan officials. The president acknowledged the challenges faced by Somalia particularly in combating terrorism, and urged the officers to continue their efforts towards liberating the country and accelerating progress in overcoming these obstacles. The Justified Accord exercise witnessed the participation of dozens of U.S.-trained Somali Danab commandos alongside 1,000 personnel and units from 23 nations. The U.S. military held the exercise as its largest in East Africa, showcasing the collaborative efforts of international forces in enhancing regional security and stability. In a significant development, the United States and Somalia recently signed a Memorandum of Understanding MAO, to construct up to five military bases dedicated to the Somalia National Army's Dana Brigade. With a total investment of $100 million, the construction of these bases aims to provide strategic support and resources to strengthen the capacity of the SNA in maintaining peace and security within the country. This initiative builds upon the 2017 agreement between the United States and Somalia, which outlined plans to recruit, train, equip, and mentor 3,000 men and women from across Somalia. The objective is to cultivate a sustainable light infantry capability within the broader SNA, further bolstering Somalia's defense capabilities and fostering stability in the region. The commendation bestowed upon the Dana Brigade officers by President Mohamud serves as a testament to the dedication, professionalism, and progress exhibited by the Somali army. Somalia Minister of Interior, Federal Affairs and Reconciliation Ahmed Mualim Fiqi, on Wednesday received a courtesy and introductory visit from the United Nations High Commission for Refugees in Somalia, Charles Leonard Mbala. During the meeting, they discussed various in issues including strengthening cooperation between the two parties in enhancing support to Somali refugees and internationally displaced person livings in IDP camps. Somalia Minister of Interior, Federal Affairs and Reconciliation Ahmed Molim Fiki on Wednesday received a courtesy and introductory visit from the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees in Somalia, Mr. Charles Leonard Mbala. During the meeting, they discussed various issues including strengthening cooperation between the two parties in enhancing support to Somali refugees and internationally displaced persons living in IDP camps. The both sides emphasized the significance of addressing the plights facing the Somali refugees. Minister Fiki underscored his ministry's unwavering commitment to finding sustainable solutions for the challenges and plights facing the Somali refugees and returnees. Minister Fiki underscored his ministry's unwavering commitment to finding sustainable solutions for the challenges and plights facing the Somali refugees and returnees. Senior officials from the Somali National Commission for Refugees and IDPs were in attendance at the meeting. Well, that story brings us to the end of this bulletin. Till we meet again, we wish you a lovely evening. Keep watching Dalsan TV for more news updates.
אבל לבני. Thank you.